In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at a really kind of strange error that we get sometimes when we're working with a file that has been opened in a version of Maya that has the Yeti plugin enabled. And now Yeti is a third-party fur plugin, basically, fur and hair, and it's very powerful. Uh, but unfortunately, when you save a file from Maya uh, that you've been using Yeti with, and you don't disable the Yeti plugins from the plugin manager before you save it, if you go ahead and try to open that file on another version of Maya that does not have Yeti installed, it does a silly error. Well, namely, it prevents you from rendering, which is a pretty significant error, a pretty significant bug, and I'm not sure um, if the people who create Yeti are aware of it even, but I've run into it several times and so have my students. So uh, this is my way of getting rid of it. It is unfortunately a, a problem that is difficult to get rid of if you don't have a copy of Yeti available to you because the solution is to open the file in a version of Maya with Yeti installed. Well, fortunately, I do have such a copy and I can show you in this video how to get around it. Um, but yeah, it, it is quite a difficult little error um, otherwise. So here's what you need to do. First off, here's what the error will look like. So here's my basic ball, this is a very simple rig. And if I wanted to go and render this now, notice down here, I get this error, PG Yeti PR Man Flush. This is uh, an error that I've searched a lot for on YouTube and never really found a solution for, so I kind of had to figure out my own solution. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this same file inside of uh, another version of Maya which if I just pop on over there right now, here we are inside of uh, Maya 2016. Doesn't matter which version, so long as you have uh, Yeti installed, and I just happen to have Yeti for Maya 2016. You can see here's my Yeti tab, everything's working. Um, so what I'm gonna wanna do is go ahead and open up that same file. Now uh, let's go and find it. So that's this one here. And it, you really have to just do what I say and nothing else. Otherwise, you can easily screw this up. It's not the most elegant fix and it's not the simplest fix, but it is pretty straightforward if you have Yeti. So what you need to do is go to Windows, Settings Preferences, Plugin Manager. And then you're gonna to need to come down and find where your Yeti plugins are, which are usually toward the bottom. All right, so here's what we have. We have these two here, Maya and V-Ray Maya. Now, as you notice in this scene, they are not currently loaded, uh, and they don't load in just natively with a file like this that has that PG um, Yeti RenderMan whatever flush issue. So what I need to do is enable them. Uh, I've tried different ways of trying to enable them, and some ways work and some ways don't. So here's the way that works for me. Simply click on where it says apply to all, click loaded. Now, click load it again to unload them, right? Don't uh, individually click these and then click them off because uh, there's a certain order in which they need to be unloaded as well. And if you just click this one up here uh, both times, it does it in the correct order. So uh, having done that now, don't do anything else. Don't try to render, don't try to do anything. Just go and save your file as something else. So I'll go ahead and save this scene as, and uh, let's call this ball two save all right now what we can do is pop back over to our other version of Maya that does not have Yeti installed and here we are and let's go ahead and load in that new version that we just created right here okay as you can see this rig is made by long winter studio and I recommend checking them out if you're looking for some um, pre-made rigs okay so same as we saw before now if we press render it actually renders, yay, we've gotten over the problem. Uh, of course, we're in Maya software and this is rendering tessellated, um, but that's okay, we can always we could always go in and, and fix that if we wanted to, um, just simply by uh, either smoothing the surface or by using something like Mental Ray to uh, automatically uh, render a smooth surface. So uh, that is my, my solution. Hopefully this will work for you if you run into this problem, especially if you know that your file came from somewhere in a pipeline that had Yeti. Um, and maybe if you don't have Yeti, if you don't have access to it, you can search some of the uh, Peregrine Labs uh, forums for 
people who have a copy of the software and who would be willing to sort of open your file for you, enable and disable Yeti and send it back to you. Sometimes people are really kind like that on forums, and that would be my best advice. So good luck. Thanks for watching.